Okay, this is a armrest from a 2006 Toyota Tundra pickup. And um, if you, unfortunately, the thing pulled itself away. Here, this is the hole, and we're going to drill that through, and then we're going to take a longer screw, and then we're going to use that, we're going to screw it into here, and actually do away with this completely, because this is no good to us at this point. Uh, now, the way they put this together, I think this piece of plastic and this piece of plastic were all molded as one piece. And then they go ahead and they stick it in and then they fill it all up with foam. And it's probably, you know, nice and tight like that. So that we're gonna have to, that's gonna be the second step. However, because it broke, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a couple of holes. I've marked a couple of red spots right there. We're gonna put at least a screw, so at least we kind of recreate uh, the original structure of the plastic. So let's go ahead and I'm going to give you an example. This should be a pretty good sized drill bit. Uh, uh, you don't want to drill out the threads. It should be the size of the shank or slightly smaller than the screw and this should give that to us. So here it is. We're going to go ahead and drill these out. There's a little bit of material in there, not very much. It's pretty easy to drill. Okay, we bust it through. Now let's go ahead and thread it in. We're just going to kind of dry thread it in. Let's go ahead and screw a screw in here. I think there's enough that it's going to grab. So what we're doing here is going to make it kind of a little bit easy for ourselves. Kind of pre-screw it and I can feel it that it's got pretty good pressure on it. So I think this is, this is going to work. Trying to pick up one of these armrest grabs is uh, from the dealer about $150. They're hard to find. On eBay you can find a whole panel or at the junkyard but they'll only sell you the entire door inside door panel. They won't just sell you a, a component, a part like this. So what we're looking for is let's just get the job done. Let's not have to go pick up anything or pay any extra money. Let's use what we've got. So that works out there. Hold quite comfortably. So I feel pretty confident. Now we've got one other issue. This is a foam that they fill up. I think that the way this is manufactured, this part and this part that goes up into this armrest were one component. It looks like it, not very much material, but it looks like it broke here. Those two pieces go in kind of like this. And I'm sure what they do is this is just this ABS plastic is stuck in there and they probably shoot foam and fill in all the void and that foam is what actually locks and holds this thing in place. What I'm going to do is because I've got some plastic material here, I can put the two parts together and we're going to go ahead and put like a sheet metal screw, drill through here and thread it and screw these two pieces together so it's, it's going to be a little bit more rigid. Okay, let's drill. This is basically pre-drilling. We're going to get a piece of sheet metal screw and we're going to screw it in that hole. And what we're trying to do is trying to uh, uh, put this part and this part and glue them, screw them together so that we've got a little bit of, a little bit better structure. So let's do two holes. And this is another one. Here, and I can feel it going through the two pieces. And let's get, let's find a, uh, prob like a little sheet metal screw. We're going to screw it in here, screw it in there. And okay, so the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to glue all of this together and then we're going to have to clamp it and hold, hold, hold it together while the glue dries. Uh, we did do a pretty good job. We got one screw here, one screw here, and this bad boy, it's, it's not going anywhere. I mean, I think that's a very good solution and, and that's worked. Uh, okay, this is polyurethane glue. Uh, this is just what I have. I have it around because I like to do woodworking, epoxy-like strength. You could use something else. Gorilla glue, very common, even in your grocery stores. That's also a polyurethane type of a glue, and that probably would work excellent also because it has, it expands. It likes to expand. It'll fill in those voids. So I, I think probably a Gorilla glue would be a, a very good option. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some of this in here, and I'm going to have to clamp it. Um, so let's, uh, let's try this out. This is very much like Gorilla Glue. You know how Gorilla Glue comes out 
uh, the same type of color. I wonder maybe that that's all all to do with this kind of polyurethane based material. Yeah, I want to be. I want to get a nice healthy serving on this because I think I think this is actually really uh, part of how this design is. Is that this darn polyurethane, this glue, uh, helps to keep the thing together. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to put some gloves on. I don't want to get that glue upon my hands. So there it is. We put a bead in here. Now we're going to have to kind of smush it up and let's put some clamps on it. I got all manners of clamps. I've got these types of clamps. These seem to work pretty good. Um, I think this is going to be a good solution for this also. Yeah, I'm just sort of backing it up, putting a little bit extra in there. Okay, this is closing up nicely. Okay, now we're going to have to get, we want to get this action, so I'm going to put a clamp from here to here. Let's see what else we've got. I think I've got some time with this glue. It doesn't, it doesn't look like, there it is. And that's doing a very nice job of closing up that space and also that, that uh, this glue is filling in those same voids. So I think we'll get a pretty good bond. Let's go ahead and put another clamp right there. See all that movement? Let's get that so we get rid of that movement. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing for the other side. And I'll kind of watch this over the day. I'll read the instructions on the glue and see how long the recommended drying time is. Okay, so now this side here, look at, we're going to have to close this up so it's like that. That's not good, right? So we're going to have to close this up, put a bunch of clamps on it. I think I'm going to put a whole bunch of this foam or this glue into this crack and kind of fill in that void. So let's go ahead and pour some of this. This particular glue, it says it's good for wood, plastic, metal. Yeah, I think I'd like to put a healthy syrup to be nice and tight. Let's go ahead and maybe put some right along this lip. This looks like where it broke. It also seems to be the place that if somebody is going to try to grab that door, they're going to probably grab that material. I've got some of these. Let's see what these. Let's see what happens with this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, the carpenter once said. Cabinet maker said you can never have too many, too many uh, clamps. Demonstration of it. So have plenty of clamps. Have be have your clamps ready. So hopefully, if you have a similar repair, I think the next step is we're going to let it dry, and then we're actually going to go ahead and install it. There is a very good video on YouTube on how to remove that interior panel on an 06 Toyota Tundra. It's similar to a Sequoia and a few other vehicles. So, um, so let's let's leave this alone. Let's let it dry, and we'll come back and uh, complete the second part of the video. All right, so here is the part after we removed all the clamps. You can see that we've closed up that split. It's pretty solid. Uh, we're gonna get now ready to go ahead and install it. Okay, there it is, dry fitted. Uh, pretty solid. Now we just have to screw it in. A little plate. These are the screw holes. We're going to put the little plate in that spot. Okay, and there is a completed door. You know, I think it's just fine. I wouldn't be doing bungee jumping on it and holding on to it for dear life. Uh, you know, sort of closed up a little bit of a gap here, but I think given the fact you didn't have to pay for it, you could do it at home 
repair it, uh, it's a reasonable, reasonable solution.